OG, all right, we're gonna we're gonna recap not just OG's journey, but also the journey that Aster has taken to get to this point. Obviously, it's a disappointing result. I got the horses in the back, horse stock is attached, head is mad at black. Position. How do you even kill your Rocky once? I don't know. I, I don't think you can. We, we saw the potential of PA when it, it was behind last game. This time it's completely ahead. Jumping towards the base. They take out Boboka. Has a buyback available. We'll see Ori back in five. Ashton, they'll definitely have one final fight in them. I mean, PCM's just jumping into the base. We'll lose the, the on disc proc here. So they're trying to tease out the BKB of Mone. It's on cooldown. It five is for five seconds. He's got to be careful. Ori jumps in. We'll get the toss back onto Yuragi. See if they can deal with it once. Satanic! Then Yuragi just back up at full HP. Mone tries to run, but they'll take him out. Buyback to come in from Mone. They'll turn the sharp shooter shot over towards Yuragi, but Yuragi's still good to go. He's surrounded by his teammates. He cannot die here. As OG, they'll be back towards the Yuragi's objective. In. Mone, he gets the open match with the BKB. Open the physical damage to Darren Froome. He's running back to the base. He's ticking down low. He'll get back to the fountain. Mone will live for now. But Ori, fear back by Tiger. BZM jumping up to the fountain. Ori's out. No buyback. As Yuragi is ready to play with them here. Right up in the fountain. OG, they've been known to dive before here. They might get with a mark. He'll get speared back into the fountain. He's dead. But the Raxes, the Megas. So the Megas are out. Yuragi actually hitting tier fours instead of going for Megas, and that will be it. See if they can do anything four versus four. I mean, PCM just has no fear. I mean, he's just in with the three man dream comp. Mone's in trouble, they'll try and push back. The two of them, and XXS with the spear and the rebuke will buy some seconds, but he's got enough. Jump in there, Chu has the burst to finish off Mone. Out for 100. GG. GG is gone. OG, they've done it, and they've done it clean. Three games back to back against Asta, a team that looked terrifying in their upper bracket run. But OG, they turned up today, and they gave us arguably the best that we've seen it anywhere in quite some time. These three games, a masterclass from OG, despite Asta's best attempts. The best attempts to even try to counter a PA, but the PA counters, they didn't work. OG, they have an idea, it works perfect. This Underlord last pick, genius, really. And, 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 this, team, it's, this team's insane. It really is. Turning are. up, and you got to give a massive credit to Chu. Turning 100%. up at this LAN, and even for this LAN, you know, people knew that he was part of OG, helping out as the coach. But he turns up, and his performance here on the main stage, phenomenal. I'd let him lift the trophy if I, I were them, honestly. He would have been so spectacular. Defensive plays, aggressive plays, calling shots, because as far as we know, the captaining in game, it's been a lot of time that they've said from Chu. So, wow, spectacular stuff. OG have to be so happy with themselves. Absolutely, and the, the Dota that they provide consistently is just always a delight to watch. And in this third game as well, the change up and the drop, they let Asta have their Marge. And, and they take the PA for themselves. You know, you're right, he wants to show them how it's done as we'll see them here. And of course for Asta, a great run through the upper bracket, but when it came to, to the grand final stage, when they had to step it up to another level, when you're mini OG in a grand finals, it always feels like OG has that edge. They've got that little bit of something that nobody else seems to have for. They just have so many concepts of Dota that they play so well with. And there we go, of course, the crowd here. You have been phenomenal, Malaysia. Can we give it up here one more time for your champions of ESL1 Malaysia, OG! Gentlemen, a quick word from me, Mike. But Chu, this will be the last time that we see you before you're back to coach. Any words out there for all those new Choo Choo Train fans? Anything to say to the audience? What? What would you like to say to all your new fans? Uh, I guess thanks for the up, so I'm going to get on. Love you. All right, give it up for Chu! Yuragi. If you've ever been in a seed pub, you know that carry is all that matters. Nothing else matters. Everyone in this arena is a carry player. Anything to say out there to your people.
Thanks everyone. I had a great time. Yeah! B E Z M, you have been absolutely on point all day. Are you happy that it was a hard 3-0 or could you have gone all five games? I don't know, I'm just doing uh, following steps, like my granddad's steps, you know? <laughs> wow, those are some mighty steps. Well done, well done. Tiger, you can position five, you can position four. Hell, in some games it looked like you were in the position two. Is there anything you can't do? I don't know, I just love Malaysia too much. You guys are buffing me a lot. And finally, Come on, my friend. A lot of people out here are loving you. They ban your heroes. They pick your heroes, but you're unstoppable. Is this a mar the final form, or are you going to get even better before TI? And I'm already OP, so who knows what's next? All right, well, fantastic. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up one more time for all. Congratulations, guys. Thank you so much. We are champions at OG here on the stage in Malaysia. Oh, Arena Stars, you are something else. You are something else indeed. And OG as well, something else here doing it. Coming first place, 3 0 -E in the grand finals with Javaj as the fresh stand in. And they make it look so easy. How did they do it? Insania, you believe in them from the very start. Your bias was definitely well placed here because there's nothing stopping this team. I mean, just to go off of Javaj, I remember, like, I think maybe two months ago, I saw a Reddit thread um, which it contained an interview by RZ. I remember that! Yeah, where he said, like, Javaj is clueless. He doesn't I don't understand Go at all. And yeah, he's I, just, I remember he's just that. like a friend hanging out with the team. He's just Misha's friend for a long time, but did he silence Woo. the haters or what? Oh, he sure did. Oh, I remember that. I was yeah. like, oh. And he proved that he absolutely belongs. And I mean, OGs look amazing and they are continue to play amazing. But and they are so good. How do they keep getting away with this? <laughs> Will they ever be stopped? They have some kind of magic with them, man. Like, I know them. I know what powers them up. I, we heard Tiger say it as well. I think this crowd is definitely a large portion of being powered up and just reaching that next level. So there's some teams that just get to that final form when they're in front of a crowd. They they, they get the the level up. And Chubash, we he definitely leveled up in front of the crowd as well. The whole team seems to be on fire. But he, honestly, he's just played so well from group stages up until now. Mm -hmm. He fits the team so seamlessly. He's so mechanically good. And he can he's also capable of playing five, so they can utilize Tyga's four hero pool when they need to. It just feels like a perfect fit. How can you have three perfect fits in your eight-man roster? I don't know how that works out, but it just does. Oh, it does indeed. A well-deserved trophy there for OG. All right, we're gonna we're gonna recap not just OG's journey, but also the journey that Aster has taken to get to this point. Obviously, it's a disappointing result, but they have come top three every event they attended this year. So this is already this is a this is a good thing. I mean, we know that says traditionally not everybody that wins the final tournament before TI wins TI. Yeah. I 